It says she and Celeste sat under the hot sun in front of the electronics store the only, to only get a few items at the cheaper prices in its first come, first served. What a bunch of boneheads. Torres and Salas, who are the dumdies of the day, said they each camped out in front of the Best Buy for the last few years. Each woman says that they take turns heading home to shower and eat during their stay. How dumb! The women said they are hoping to score a good deal on a TV this year. Although all they've probably scored was a good cold. As for people who might say that this is bizarre, some people say we're crazy, but that doesn't matter to us one bit. No, it's because you're an idiot, too. All right, guys, last one I want to get to on our dumdies of the day. Cops threaten dancers with felony arrest for dancing. Alan Salazar, Infowars.com. These cops, definitely, a felony, uh, all right, here we go. Why do I do these? I want you to call the police station I'm going to name and let them know how you appreciate them wasting your tax dollars and ruining the lives of people with a felony for nothing. That's why I do them. An event organizer in Utah was flabbergasted when police stormed his Halloween party over the weekend. This is October 29th. And proceeded to monitor partygoers for signs of dancing, even though a permit had been secured with the city in advance. Cops terminated the Heart of Dixie's third annual Monster Mash in St. George, Utah this past Friday. And again, it's not getting the dumb deal of the month because it was sent to me too late. And issued threats of felony arrest for the event's organizers for violating the city ordinance which prohibits public dancing without approval from city council. I thought our rights of free expression were given to us uh, by God. That's what the Constitution says. Now I guess it's city council. Calling the city's seemingly arbitrary rule not okay, Jared Keddington, the event's organizer, told Fox 13 now that he had allowed the city's rules, they had followed the city's rule and secured a permit, which I would argue he shouldn't have had to do. We were given a permit and then told by officers that we couldn't have the dance under the threat of being taken to jail with a fun felony for inciting a riot, Kellington said, adding that the permit included awkward stipulations that would have been near impossible to comply with. Meanwhile, Mr. Brown's father uh, incites, his stepfather incites a riot, and it's like pulling teeth to get it done. People dancing, it happens to them right away. Says things had been crossed out and it was handwritten. No dance activity permitted, Kennington said. On another page, it was typed that the event must be allowed to become a dance party. Must not be allowed to become a dance party due to random acts of dancing by patrons. Screw these idiots! I'd have done it anyway and said, "Bring it on." Despite the issued permit's explicit language, the city contends that it did not take issue with the dancing, but with the organizers' failure to properly follow the permit process. Utter BS, so call them and let them know in Utah that you heard about it on the correct views and that you're angry. And I, again, I've been through this. Those of you on low def, you can see it says passing time band. My band was going to play the parking lot of a place called Quonson Hut. It used to be shared by a building that's not there anymore called the Fashion Freak Boutique, and they sold adult products. Quonson Hut, the music store, was allowing us to have our concert, which was in part benefiting uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, on their parking lot, so long as we okayed it with the Fashion Freak Boutique, who was next door. So the people that owned the adult store okayed the concert, and the city shut us down, of which there we are in the paper for marching against them uh, at the city, at, down hall, at the Hall of Fame weekend in downtown Canton for shutting this down. I've been here before. Everybody would have said that the Fashion Freak Boutique, they sell sex stuff and they wouldn't even allow something to happen for the children. And yet when they okayed us to use their lot, they shut it down. I've seen this kind of thing done before firsthand. So call them and let them know that you think that they are pieces of human filth. You do not need a city permit to dance. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. Sam I. B. DeGange, Reporting for the Media Speaks, signing off. Do me a favor. Look up the work of Kyle Court, D. Lake, and myself, all of which you can find at themediaspeaks.com. You can also donate to the show. Every penny that you give to me goes towards a better show, friends. Thank you for listening. Good night, and God bless.